is a crowd and team favorite. Everybody on their feet. This is the 400-yard medley relay. The order of swims, back breast, butterfly, and then freestyle. Texas A&M in one, Alabama two, Auburn three. The two favorites and fastest qualifiers, Georgia and Florida in four and five, but don't count out the Alabama Crimson Tide. Missouri will be in six. Tennessee will be in lane seven, and we'll start in the pool, Rowdy Gaines, with a backstroke. Well, you say Georgia, Florida, the favorites. I, I think Alabama is. I think Alabama's going to win this relay. I really do. If you look from top to bottom, they're the most kiss consistent throughout. Yeah, Florida's got Dressel, who's such a great speedster at the end. And Georgia's got feet, the second leg on the breaststroke. But nobody puts top to bottom like Alabama does. They've got the winner of the 100 backstroke right now going first for him. That's Oslin, who won the 100 earlier in the competition. And he's a big key for Alabama. If he can get them off to a good start, that's going to give those other guys a lot of confidence. Alabama in lane two, currently the leader, and Oslin heading for home. They qualified in 3-11-16. And Oslin's going to give the Crimson Tide a lead. And a big lead, about a half body length. And now you've got McKee for Alabama, Paul, right there with that white cap. He was fifth in the 100 breaststroke earlier. So you know that, again, all these guys are either first through fifth in their individual events. The 100 free hasn't come yet, but if I take the 50 freestyle into account, it's going to be tough to beat for these guys. This is the weakest leg that Alabama has. Lane 7, Tennessee hanging in very nicely as well. And don't forget in the scoring system, relays count for double. So this could be a real swing event. And that's huge. That's Stevens up there. You knew that he was going to have a lot of speed. Again, he kind of fell apart at the end in the 100 breaststroke. I don't think he'll have the speed to match McKee coming home this last 25, though. Now Georgia, that's Fink right there in lane four. He won the 100 breaststroke. He put Georgia right back into it, but Georgia just does not have a butterflyer. Alabama turned first, followed by Georgia and followed by Tennessee up at the top of the pool in lane seven. That's Walsh for Alabama. He was fourth in the 100 butterfly. Again, so consistent all the way through. Alabama looking really good right now because they've got one of the fastest men in the world. Golomayev going last for Alabama. He won the 50 freestyle earlier in the meet. And Golomayev is going to have a sizable lead, Rowdy. This is a magnificent butterfly leg for Alabama. Yeah, it really is, Paul, because it sets them up so well. Again, that first leg with Ozzie leading off gave the confidence of those middle two guys. And now you've got the sophomore, Golomayev, one of the fastest guys in the world right now at the bottom of your screen. Alabama first, Florida second, Auburn third, Georgia in fourth place. The only thing that's going against them right now is Caleb Dressel, the freshman sensation. He was second in the 50, Golomea, and might be a little better in the 100. But Golomea well, had just such a huge lead, I don't think Dressel can make that up. Florida, Florida's making a move in lane five, but it is Alabama from start to finish. Here comes Florida in the middle of the pool. But Golomayev certainly had a big enough cushion, and he hangs on to win it for Alabama. They touch first in 3:04:22. Florida in second, Auburn in third. And Rowdy, you were exactly right. You said Alabama would be the favorite. Forget about that qualifying time, which was 3:11:16. Forget about that one altogether. They win it. Alabama does in 3:04:22. Great job by these guys. Really nice. That's the second relay they've won. They won the 200 freestyle relay earlier. Coach Denny Persley, the head coach, really has this team on fire at these SEC championships. Winning a lot of individual events, doing well in the relays. He's got the tide back. You remember the old days with Coach Don Gambrell? And Alabama was always near the top. They had some tough times in the 90s, in the early 2000s. And now they are back. That's Walsh in the butterfly, leading off to Golomayev at the end. And here he comes, Dressel up there at the top, doing what he can to get back into it. Ain't going to happen. 
Golomea wins it for the Tide. Well, once again, Alabama wins it 304-22. That just happens to be the fastest time in the country so far this year. Let's take a look at the results from the 400 medley relay. It was Alabama on top, edging out Florida and Auburn. And Alabama set a new SEC record and recorded the fastest time in the NCAA so far this year. And our Cynthia Potter is standing by with their anchorman, Christian Golomea. Christian, Alabama leads from start to finish, but you brought it home. How special was this for you all? Well, first of all, I'm really proud of my teammates. And I saw that I was, I, I start first, and I was like, I'm going to do it. We're not going to lose. I feel really confident during the race, and I just brought it home. So happy. Well done from all of you, Roll Tide. Great points for Alabama. Thank you so much, Roll Tide.